Today, let's see how to find GCD or greatest common divisor of the two given numbers. Now, first of all, we are clear that that number can't be more than the smallest number. And this number should be able to completely divide both the numbers. So for this, let's start here. And first of all, we are going to say int stream like this. Then here we will be taking help of the iterate method, something like this. Now, as I said, it can't be more than the smallest number. So I will be saying here math dot min, something like this. And within that, I will be providing input one comma input two in this particular way. After this, it needs to be more than zero. So here I will be saying that this I and then this I should be greater than zero. It can't be a negative number or zero. And then we need to say that it should be in the decrementing order. So here I will be saying I, then I'm going to say something like this and I will be saying I and then minus one. So it is going to look like this. Then afterwards, the next criteria is it should be able to divide the given numbers completely. So here we are going to say filter and within that filter, I will be saying that this I and then I will be saying here input one and then I will be saying that whenever I do percentage of I, I should be getting equals equals to zero. Same condition for the second one also. So here I will be saying input two, then I will be saying percentage, then again I will be saying here I equals equals to zero here. Now, after this, the very first number which is able to satisfy this criteria, I should be getting it in my output. So here I will be just saying find first only. I don't need to go for all the numbers. And then I will say what if, if there doesn't exist any number like this. So in that case, I will be saying or else one. So this way, at least I will be getting some answer as what. Well. Now here there is a small mistake that here I forget to mention as input two. Now let's execute the code. So here you see when I give the numbers as five and 10, I'm getting answer as five only. Now let's try to give a harder number for this. So I will be saying one is 36. Another one I will be saying as 48. You tell me the answer in comments and I will show that my code is giving me answer as 12. Do let me know in the comments whether my answer is right or wrong. And do like the video 